start with Andrew and Colin. Hey, Brooke, just what's the feeling around the program as you guys get set to, to host Supers for the first time in a, in a long time? Um, there's a lot of excitement. Um, every day coming to practice, we're just like super stoked and so ready to go. And unfortunately, we have these three days that we have to practice in between. But all of us were super excited and we're ready to get going. Brooke, what was it about this offense that's so good scoring the first time through the order? I think the the Northern Iowa game on Saturday was one of the only times this season you guys haven't scored in the first three innings. Um, really, we just all know that if one person doesn't get it done, the next person's going to step up and do it. So it's pretty great that our one through nine has so much trust and confidence in each other. And we know that even though one person might not be having a good game, the, the girl right behind me is just going to have and going to go off and have a great game. So just have that confidence between us and we know exactly what everyone can do. Ben and then Eric. Brooke, uh, coach was just talking about the kind of the, the battles you all have been through before in the postseason, really preparing you for, for this year and some of the things you haven't encountered uh, this season. Um, can you kind of put into words sort of how you feel like your experience in the postseason before has, has toughened this team up and, and prepared you? Um, well, the two postseasons that I've played in, I've always played against the number one seed in the nation. So you travel to their home place and you get to play them. And obviously they're the one seed for a reason, but really just going out and like competing against those number one teams. I think that really has strengthened us as a team. And unfortunately, like we didn't get past the regionals the past couple, couple of years, but getting that win against UCLA under our belt, especially everybody in my class in the grade below, we just had a, like a ton of confidence and we honestly built off that in the next couple of years. Hey, Brooke, uh, Coach has mentioned a few times how she's heard from a bunch of alumni, you know, just you know, getting a national seed and then making the Supers. Have you heard from anyone? And what have those conversations been like, if so? Um, no, I haven't really heard from anyone. Um, it's been more family members who are distant, and then they reach out and saying, hey, we've been watching you, so excited. And honestly, a ton of family members are like, hey, I'm coming this weekend because it is such a big weekend. So. Um, I haven't gotten much from alumni, but I've gotten a ton from family. Dave and then Ben. Hey, Brooke, how, how is this team handle going all season long, kind of sneaking up on the rest of the SEC and not, people maybe not giving you a lot of attention nationally to now you're, you're hosting postseason games and, and you know, a, a favorite this weekend against a, a mid-major team. How, how do you handle that transition? Um, honestly, we just kind of think of ourselves as the underdog the entire weekend and we really weren't set out to do much this year, according to the media and SEC and everybody else. We were just supposed to be the average SEC team, but we came out and we showed them that we are one of the best teams in the SEC and within the nation. So I think now that people have seen that and they're actually realizing like, hey, they're a pretty good team. Now they're starting to put their money on us when in reality, we still think we're the underdogs and everything. So we just go out there with that mentality. And if we do that, then truly like no one can beat us. Brooke, when you think back to last weekend, how do you feel like the environment affected your play? And, and that was really, you know, people use the phrase home field advantage. How did the environment help you play better, do you think? Um, honestly, the, the fans were the ones that, like, kept our energy and momentum going the entire game. And sometimes, obviously, you have really high emotions, and that's what we had on Friday night. And we got super, super high. And then on Saturday, we, we were all like super tired because we were exact, like, we just had so much energy going out on Friday, but what our fans did is they picked it up for us and doing that, they kind of almost carried us and we wanted to continue to be better because of them. So just the fact that we have a sold out play, sold out stadium and our fans are always here is really does give us that true home field advantage because they really do carry us when we need it. Graham and then Colin. Okay. With defense at the college level, how much different is it different is it from travel ball? Just how much more data are you being asked to process? How much more thinking are you being asked to do just as far as playing defense? Um, this game is so much quicker at this level, and you really have to make those split second decisions, and you don't have a ton of time to do that. So I think one of the biggest things is I had to learn, especially, is I got to play quicker and I got to make decisions quicker. So just being here for four years now I understand what the speed of the game is like here and you got to process all the information how fast runners are and where they hit the ball and their spray charts and all that so I think that's one of the biggest things is you really got to make those split second decisions a lot quicker thank you 
Yeah, Brooke, speaking of teammates, just what was it like having Abby back in the lineup, kind of sets the table for you and, and is next to you over there in right field? She made a pretty nice catch on Sunday, too. Yeah, she did. It's super nice to have her back out there. Um, she's just one of those people that I've always like grown up with, I guess, here at Mizzou. So I've always had the confidence and trust in her whenever she's by my side. So it's great to have her back out there because I know I have that confidence and trust back out in right field. And then also at the bottom of the lineup, I know she's going to do a really good job turning it over. Any more questions for Brooke? All right. Thanks, Brooke. Thank you.